So we're just going to run through some of the bits and pieces that um, exist in the Arc uh, Synthium Arc software uh, for controlling robots. And we're going to connect to our robot. We have a, a JD here, um, JD Humanoid. I think I might end up calling him Eric, but um, we'll see about that. So the first thing I have to do is to scan for the address for the robot. Basically, I put him on to um, the Wi-Fi network. So rather than connect to him and then connect off elsewhere, I've got him set as a device on the network I can connect to. So I'm going to stop the scan there and connect. I'm going to select that. And then if I click on here to connect, he should fire up. And obviously there's the camera looking at me. Um, so we're connected here to the robot. And you can see on here, these are the connections. You can run up to five robots simultaneously on here. So I could fire up a um, uh, another robot. I've got a, um, an adventure bot I could hook up. These animators here are the um, eyes on the robot. And you should see um, on the screen we can change those so we can have um, expressions and his eyes will change. Uh, perhaps I should just turn this light off behind it so it's a bit, he is a bit brighter. Um, so uh, I, I, I've gone into darkness from here but you should be able to see the, the robot's eyes are better. Um, we can do things like big and small. Let's stop that shifting and then we'll do the big to small and you should see the eyes are flashing so down here you'll see the, the eyes on here so you can do scanner so you can make him um, pretend to be Knight Rider which is <laughs> probably a little bit silly uh, the eyes scan across okay so we've done that bit now each piece of the robot I'm going to turn that light back on again give us a bit of more light so a bit brighter to see um, he's actually looking at me at the moment and um, <coughs> we can have him do various things like we can um, ask him to wave so if I just click here on wave and I say execute you see he's waving at us um, you'll see as well as obviously as he's shaking around um, the, the, the image here goes a little bit crazy um, I could close that I don't need the Wii remote setup on here um, you've got various sounds you can make him do you can push sounds out to it so you can have a little bit of ukulele playing And you can make him do things obviously alongside the ukulele. So you can make him sing with his hands. And we'll stop that. And we'll stop the sound. Obviously you've got various things you can do with the camera. Um, you can detect motion. So we're not actually seeing that at the moment. I don't have tracking turned on. If we turn on tracking for motion, then we go back to motion. You should be able to see it change so that you can see what we're doing that way. You can make it change color. You can make it do facial tracking. Um, if I tell it to track a face, if I look at it, it should actually go around and sort of semi-track me. Um, it's tracking various pieces of motion on the screen at the moment as well, so I should perhaps turn that off. You can track colours, you can teach it objects. Um, but the really cool part of this software isn't that you can do all that stuff. I mean, obviously you can make you walk around and um, you can take a step forwards and a step backwards 
and you can make him turn and you can do all that kind of crazy stuff um, so obviously you can make him move he's got walking stuff and basically your frames here allow you to um, set that up to walk for those people who are looking at programming you also have the ability to program um, using scratch you have the ability to program using blockly and you have the ability to change into javascript so you can run any of those it, you can also do things on here like um, for instance if I wanted movement and um, I wanted to move forwards or turn right or whatever I can um, take that and once that's on there if I look in JavaScript I can actually see um, the JavaScript for that particular thing so I can design stuff in Blockly or Scratch and I can click back and go into um, into JavaScript so I can see exactly what it is and I can then tweak it to whatever I want it to do so I just clear that you also have the ability to drive a remote control so this pivots the camera so as I do that the head moves around and I can move it up and down um, I can take a still picture I can track colors I can do all manner of things with it so that's kind of a handy thing and then this one here would just do the uh, motion so you can see the camera see it moving that way um, go back to the standard interface the initial interface you also have a thing on here within the project to be able to add robot skills now the arc software is open for um, a, a ton of things you can do an awful lot with it so i'm just going to click on here to add and we'll see on here you have a series of uh, what have we got? We've got general, we've got analog and digital, artificial intelligence, audio camera, digital games, GPS, so on, so on. And we'll very quickly take a peek at that. In general, this is all stuff to do with um, the connection, with the speed things are working at, speed, send things across, TCP connections. We can um, do configuration, we can do all this kind of stuff with it. The analog to digital allows us to monitor um, each individual um, analog port and take a look and see what's going on on there. Artificial intelligence allows us to do things like cognitive sentiment. And that's kind of a weird thing because it uses the um, Azure cognitive services and it can take a picture and it can look at you and guess your age and tell you how happy or sad or angry or boring you are to me it usually comes up and says to me I'm, I'm uh, boring um, so that's not really particularly good um, uh, what else have we got we've got a, a client for the easy AI we can do stuff with audio, we can do speech recognition, um, we can do speech synthesis, so we can make it talk, we can make it listen, we can do a whole bunch of clever stuff speech-wise. Um, incidentally, the speech synthesis can be built into um, operating with the camera, so that rather than have the camera just push the JSON data out onto the screen it can come up and tell you exactly what it's seen um, in, in words so it can speak to you so you've got cognitive emotion cognitive face cognitive vision all these three are uh, going to tell you this will do a facial recognition and it may remember who you are it may do a whole bunch of different bits and pieces um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it 
um, it is possible as well to be able to stick virtual reality on it so you can drive it um, just by looking so there's a ton of stuff you can do you can add in a whole bunch of extra hardware as well so um, the i2c stuff is like the high speed extended serial port you can put in things like um, accelerometers um, 8x8 RGB animator so it's basically an 8x8 LED pixel block you can do all kinds of stuff with it you can add LiDAR to it you've got um, multi-way sensors with accelerometers gyroscope temperature uh, you've got with a compass on as well so you can do a whole bunch of stuff that way around you can do um, you can add to it you can if you're working with a robot that's that's perhaps not a bipedal maybe a, a wheeled or a tracked robot you can do things um, like make your own autonomous vehicle to shift around and you can tell how fast it's going, where it's going, um, stuff like that. Um, there are some machine learning things um, that you can run with Exosphere. Now Exosphere is a, a global project where thousands of robots around the world are hooked up together to be able to uh, do certain tasks. Um, it's really beyond the realm of me talking to you here about it to um, do stuff, but it, it is really, really kind of cool. Um, and if you see this thing here, it just means it's up in the cloud, it hasn't been downloaded yet. So if I click on that to download it, it will actually take you to a, a link to download. And um, once you're signed up, it will um, let you download these so uh, I'm gonna stop there because that's given us a, a little bit of a, a taste for what the kind of things you can do or the, the, the scope of what you can do um, and um, so that basically is Cynthia in a box